Guys, I am loving these little TEC static pressure ports. Uh, they're just a little piece of sheet metal that has a self-adhesive sticky back on it. And so you can just put it on there and then drill right through the center hole um, and place these wherever you want. The magnet sticks to it. And what we're looking for in a system like this, so we've got our open return down there. The main way that it's getting air is through this grill and wall. This is a huge commercial unit. There's coils all through here. It's just fan coil, basically. Uh, so I'm measuring here, which is the beginning of the supply plenum. And I can see that I've got 0.54-ish of static pressure here. Now I'm not plugged in here on the positive because this is a positive pressure. Totally disregard the positive negative as far as the polarity goes. What I am doing is measuring the pressure in this side with reference to this side. So I wanna know what's pressure in the duct with reference to the main body of the space is, and that's 0.54. What's really interesting and why you wanna do the static pressure mapping, not just total external static pressures, because when I come along and we reduce this huge, what is basically a four foot by two foot uh, duct down to just this little, what is that, 14, 16 inch round maybe? You can see I have a reduction of 0.2 inches of water column just for this. Another way to look at it is here, I've got negative 0.23 on our return and another attic, but just here, I have 0 0.06. So there's a drop of 0.17 just from this. This little 180 right here does that to the static pressure. And just in case you thought that this was really straightforward, here you can see that we've got a static pressure in the supply plenum of 0.036 or 38. There is our air handler. If we move closer to the air handler, this number should go up. But you can see here that actually we're going down. And actually it's kind of floating close-ish to zero. That means that that right there is a weird pocket of airflow. And so probably the airflow is coming out of the back side of this thing. And there's this weird turbulent little bubble here, a little loop where we're getting not good readings. That number definitely should be higher because we're closer to the fan. So weird, it happens.